chapter one, a spanner in the works. Ugh, typical. Something always has to go wrong, doesn't it? And everything had been going so well since the beginning of the school year and the whole Jake thing. I mean, not getting on with Jake just seems like a blip now. It's weird to think how much I hated Jake at the beginning of the school term. Crazy weird. It's like that Jake was a different person from this Jake. It's so easy to judge a book by its cover. Now I've got to know him properly, he's great and nothing like I thought back in those days. Me and Jake are like a little gang now. Hard to believe because I've never been in a gang before and also because I never thought anyone could come between me and Kaziah. We've practically been joined at the hip for the last two years. Before Kaziah, I'd always been a bit of a loner. Mum says that even when I was little at playgroup, all the other kids loved taking part in the group activities, singing nursery rhymes, doing all the actions and joining in with story time, whereas I'd always be doing my own thing at the back of the class. That's harder to do these days at school, considering I sit right near the front. Actually, school is quite good at the moment. Our head teacher, Mrs. D'Souza, is into science in a big way. So she's got us all interested in climate change and saving the planet, which personally I am all for because it's where I live. I watched this documentary the other day and it showed how harmful plastics can be. Get this, every day, approximately 8 million pieces of plastic pollution find their way into the sea. 8 million! That's more plastic in the sea than there are people in Scotland. Unbelievable. So since then, I've been making the whole family ditch single-use plastic, start recycling and generally be more environmentally friendly. Kazire and Jake are both down with the whole eco-friendly thing too. Can you believe that a one and a half degree rise into average temperature will have an irreversible effect on our planet? Loads of different species would be wiped out. And it would be no good for us humans either. The sea levels would rise, land would be lost and millions of people would be made homeless. All because of one and a half degrees. How crazy. It sounds like nothing. We try to be eco-friendly in everything we do now. Kazaya even cycled to mine today. Since she got her new bike, her dad's let her cycle over on her own at weekends, which is so good. It's like being an independent grown-up. We can practically spend all of Saturday and Sunday together. Bliss. Thank goodness bikes don't have carbon emissions like cars do. Ruby, my middle sister, has a friend whose dad owns an electric car, which is also really good, as it doesn't use any petrol and just runs on electricity instead. You plug it into charge as though it's a mobile phone or tablet. How funny is that? Ruby says it glides along without making any noise and often people don't hear it coming. In the future, all cars will be electric. They'll have to start making a special noise or there'll be lots of squashed cats on the road. Anyhow, me and Kaziah are sitting in the garden discussing what I should do for my upcoming birthday when who should jump over the fence but Bluey, the cat I share with Jake. She's probably getting out of the way of the lawnmower. We can hear Jake cutting the grass next door. His parents pay him to do it and at quite a good rate too. He gets £10 for the back lawn and £5 for the front, which is way smaller. If you were going on price per area, he gets a much better deal on the front lawn as it's probably a tenth of the size of the back. My parents don't pay me to do anything. I'm just expected to do it all for free. Slave labour if you ask me.